Roughly 15 years or so has passed since Intel decided to start using these as their box coolers for their CPUs. Even to this day, after all that time, new builders making Intel systems are still having trouble mounting these things without bending the little doodaddy bits on the end or, you know, having it stick outside the hole and whatnot. I made a video similar to this one many, many moons ago, but to be frank, it was kind of shit. So today I'm here to redeem myself and show you how once and for all to effectively, properly, and 100% percent of the time mount one of these motherfuckers without breaking it so stay tuned now the first thing i want you to do is put everything out of your mind about this heat sink aside from the mounting mechanisms that are found on the four corners of the box cooler each one of these mounting mechanisms is designed the same way and consists of the same three core components the first of these components which will henceforth be known as the housing is actually physically bound to the other three housings via this giant black ring that stretches around the entire circumference of the heat sink the second part of the mounting mechanism which which we will henceforth refer to as the barbs, is the white bit in the middle that sinks below the surface of the motherboard and clips onto the back of it when it's been properly mounted. The third element is the peg, which actually lies inside the barb and is what causes it to expand once it's properly inserted into the hole and has been depressed. So the general rule of thumb for those of you having trouble following along is this. Don't peg barb unless she's down. Now how do you ensure that barb is down before you peg her? First, you line up barb with the hole. Then you grab the housing with your index finger and thumb. Then you push down on just the housing to make sure that the base of the housing is flush against the top of the PCB. By doing this, you will ensure that the barbs are as low as they can possibly go without the peg being inserted into them. At this point, all you have to do is stick the peg in, barb will spread her legs, and everybody will stay put. I know what you're saying. Other tech tubers have told me that all I need to do is rest the box cooler with the barbs and holes aligned on top of the CPU and press them two at a time in a cross pattern. This will work with a relatively new cooler nine times out of 10. But once one's been used a few times and has been worn in a little bit, it's very important to make sure that those barbs are actually below the motherboard before you insert the peg. Otherwise, the peg might actually descend into the barbs, expanding them before they've had a chance to go beneath the motherboard. This can result in a common problem that I like to refer to as the three-quarter contact, where one of the mounting mechanisms is actually higher than it's supposed to be, which compromises the quality of contact between the heatsink and the CPU itself. Now, for those of you trying this at home while I'm explaining it, you might realize that you kind of have to do one peg at a time when using this method. And if you're worried about this affecting the distribution of reapplied thermal paste, don't. As long as you do all four corners in that same cross pattern, you should be fine. Anyhow, guys, that's it for this short tutorial video. I hope you found it helpful and or erotic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy pegging, and I'll see you in the next one.